so we had a problem getting our septic lid out of here it's kind of like a septic tank lid emergency well I'm kind of pry on it and hope that you don't break the handles these are flimsy handles so try not to use too much force right yeah handles are coming up I'm gonna try to grab it right here. I don't know how strong that. No, nope. damn it. Yeah, this is a problem. So I'm out here at my job, installing a couple risers. Man. This morning, it was cold. It hit 28 degrees. September 30th, it hit 28 degrees. That's so cold, man. At least we're not to worry about the bees. I don't think they'll be bothering us anymore. Shit. But yeah, we just gotta install a couple risers on the septic tank here. Um, the guy that dug for me, he didn't dig quite enough, so I'm gonna dig a little more around it to make room for the concrete. Yep, that's what I'm doing. So one thing you can do if you get a treble lid that doesn't want to come up, you can use your dig bar and kind of pry on it and hope that you don't break the handles. These are flimsy handles, so try not to use too much force, right? Yeah, handles are coming up. That's a problem. Yeah, handles are coming up. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to figure this out though. Somehow. If that happens, then you can pry it on the side, I guess. handles and it's stuck. So I'm really kind of concerned about breaking this because this is all I got. Man. You can see right here not much it's all I got if it breaks then I'm gonna be in trouble right so we gotta be nice with it gentle gentle pry Yeah. 
I don't know. I'm gonna try to grab it right here. I don't know how strong that. Nope, damn it. Yeah, this is a problem. We got a problem lid on our hands, guys. I've got to figure out how to safely get this out. So I can pry up here. Not want to budge. <laughs> this has only happened to me once, and I had help last time. This time I'm on to my on my own with it. <sighs> so, only thing I can think of is try to make a hole on the other side, so I can get a rope through and tie a rope around this sucker a bunch of times make like a handle out of rope the only thing I can think of I pry around it too. All right, I'm pretty much trying everything I can. It's not budging, and it seems like it's very thick. So, I don't know. I might see if I can get a little backup over here for this lid, and I'll just, I'll work on the other one for now while I'm waiting for backup. <sighs> it's crazy. So I got my, my Red Bull Italian soda watermelon drink with the uh, cream. That's EC Coffee. Mm. It's delicious. I think it's a better mixture when it's the 24 ounce. Um, you know, um, I think uh, the Red Bull's a little more potent. This time I think they put a little more cream. So it really, really tastes nice. I don't know. I like it though. I wasn't going to get one today because I'm trying to save on expenses and stuff, but it's Monday. Tomorrow I'm going to try not to use it. Try not to get one. So you're not gonna believe this. Look what happened with the other lid. So there's that one, right? One over here, got it all dug up nice. One of the damn handles came off. And it's one of the main handles. So, <laughs> this is gonna be fun to get up too, it seems like. Oh boy. I uh, supposedly got a helper coming on the way. Hopefully we can get this figured out without dropping one of these in the tank. I really don't wanna do that.
Boom. Got that. Hell yeah. There you go. There's the lid. There's the hole. There's the shit. <laughs> Don't want to fall in there. I'm tempted to try again on this one. I just, I don't want it to break and fall in there. It's it's real fragile, it's breaking apart on me. I don't know, and it's stuck there too, I don't know. Yeah, so there's that one. They wanted it under grade by like three inches. That's looking pretty good. So I'm ready to concrete this one in. And this guy, we're still waiting for my coworker to help me out with that. I'll probably not be videoing uh, when he gets here, but I'll tell you about what happens. Hopefully it all goes well. So we got this just in case we were gonna think about breaking it in half. Just in case like one, one side would fall in, we'd have the hole to handle and hoping the handle would hold. Anyway, we're gonna try to lift this up. Alright. You wanna just try this then? The lift up? Okay, well that didn't work out, so I'm gonna try something else. So I had to call for backup and then uh, had a coworker and, and my boss come to the rescue. Alright guys, we got it up. Um, boss just kinda chipped away at it and got it loose, probably didn't got it loose and we pulled it out of there. Time to install these risers. Anyway, there it is. We've got the lids all nice and level, but they're going underground anyway. But I always make them level because, you know, I'm just kind of a perfectionist. We got our concrete already mixed up. So we're going to go ahead and concrete them in. We got our we got our lids all concreted in I mean our risers and it's screw them in it's backfill time that's it all concreted pieces of uh, grass on this one but there was only so many pieces it was like little fragments so I did the best I could there but yeah there we go all done I'm gonna try to maybe mound up this dirt a little bit and move this lid over there uh, customers taking care of the lids there we go all done got it all piled up there for them and take care of the rest of the dirt as well 
and we are out of here. See what next job is. Well, guys, I got no jobs yet after this, so I guess I'm just taking lunch. I was gonna go somewhere to take it, but I got my lunch, and no one's even home, so I'm just gonna just chill right here and not even leave. I'll just take my lunch right here. All right, so they don't have anything for me. Lunch is over. I'm heading back to the shop. Uh, hopefully, they find something because it's really early, guys. Damn, it's crazy. I guess the customer was there. I was taking lunch, and the customer came out like it their uh, garage door open and then I had to move out of their way when I was in the middle of my lunch <laughs> like damn <sighs> I hate it when you like knock on a door ring a doorbell and they don't answer it's like really just then ignore me out here okay fine what's funny is I was peeing in a bucket close to my truck and you know they didn't answer so I didn't think they were there so it's not my fault or otherwise I wouldn't have done that <laughs> But hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go, you know? Alright, so they're letting me go early. Four and a half hours only. Cheaty. I mean, God knows I like going home early, but... This is only four and a half hours for the whole entire pay period so far. And it's it's Monday, so I got two more days on the pay period. So, we're hoping for some hours tomorrow and the next day. Otherwise, I'm of a small check. You know, I had a big check, like the second biggest check I've ever received. And then, like, no hours, I might have, like, the smallest check I've ever received. So, it kind of cancels that out, doesn't it? That's the thing. <sighs> Trying to save money. Winter's coming. Shit, we felt that today. 28 degrees? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's freaking cold, man. I'm going to go get some propane so we can heat our house. That's what I'm going to have to do. Problem is with them damn heaters, um... They just don't want to work too well. We blow them out and get all dust and stuff out of them and they work a little bit better. But mine, last year I did that and it still didn't want to work. So I don't know. We're going to have to really figure out how to get them heaters working. Because I don't want to have to go through it again where I just relied on the, the uh, hallway heater. And then I had to keep my door open. It's just kind of annoying. and We're using more heat than we need. So we're heating the whole damn house just to heat my room. You know what I mean? Whereas if I could use the heater in my room also, we can conserve on heat a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, I guess we're driving home. Missy, you need to not run in front of the car. I don't want to run you over. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm going to get out of my way when I come in, okay? You guys stay out of the way. Crazy dog. What's up, guys? So I'm home. I'm chilling. I'm gonna make myself some food, but uh, I wanted to check something. I know I haven't been so great on the diet and working out, um, you know, with working long hours at work, I was getting beat up, and then I had four days off where I just didn't do anything, uh, except for yesterday. Yesterday, I uh, unloaded a truck full of wood in a very short amount of time, so I got some like high cardio there, but it was just, you know, a little bit, really, and I just haven't been doing good, guys. Been suffering on the diet, and I need to, I need to be good. But, uh, I'm gonna weigh myself. I'm gonna see where we're at right now, whether we went up or down or same place. Let's find out. I think the last time I checked was, like, I don't know. It was 290-something. 292, 291, I don't know. Let's check it out. Two ninety four, yeah. So I'm really not going anywhere as far as the weight loss, so I need to step it up. Right now, um, I would do some workout right now, but my back is kind of really sore in my neck and uh, kind of like my my butt cheek area. Like I don't know what that's about. Uh, it's like the whole spine or whatever. It's just all kind of messed up right now, and so I guess I just gotta take it easy because like. Yeah, can't I can't I don't feel like doing anything for real. But I got at least I can be good on my diet. I am gonna do that. Check this out. Yeah, chicken all diced up. Check it out. That's right guys, we're gonna make a chicken Caesar salad is what we're doing. We got our salad. And we got it on a wrap. Spinach wrap. And then we got our chicken. And then I'll just add some cheese and some Caesar. And there we go. Got our cheese. 
And get that side over there. Boom. And of course our Caesar dressing. And this is how I make myself a chicken Caesar spinach wrap. It's gonna be bomb. I guess you could call it chicken Caesar salad spinach wrap. Yeah, that's what it is. And there we go. Now the only thing that's like high calories or whatever is the salad dressing. But, um, you know, I'm not like them people where I'm just going to starve myself. And I don't like do things like, you know, eat hot dogs with no bread. And I'm just, I'm not down anymore with that. Like, I'm, I'm going to eat healthy things. And there's going to be some unhealthy items. I'm not going to go like 100% perfect. I want to live a little, alright? So, I think this is going to be good. Hell yeah, we got our protein, we got our salad, we got spinach. Yeah, it's going to be good. Anyways guys, I've uh, been messing around trying to get my stream working with the sound and stuff. And I got everything the way I wanted it again. Somehow when I updated my computer, everything went haywire. So, <laughs> gotta love that. So I fixed it, and I'm probably going to be doing another live stream today, uh, doing some Player Unknown Battlegrounds, aka PUBG, and I uh, hope I see you guys there on Mixer. My Mixer is MBRS Commander, all one word, all together, MBRS Commander. Check me out if you haven't already. Uh, appreciate you guys. Yeah, we're going to do a giveaway probably just about every week. Unless work gets too slow, then I'm going to probably not do that as much but we'll see but next week there will be a giveaway so you know rack up them numbers bucks in my stream and you can you know buy raffle tickets when it's giveaway time and you might be lucky enough to win all right y'all i appreciate y'all smash that like subscribe if you haven't already see you on the next one peace out